one of the biggest uh, errors in the thinking is that you can improve your time doing exercises for improving your time. I don't really believe in this. Uh, okay. I mean, your time, most of the guys at least that come to our program at some point in their life, they probably had a pretty good time feeling because otherwise you wouldn't want to be a drummer. And actually, I guess everybody really actually, not only drummers, I mean, actually everybody has a natural feel of time. I don't believe in this. Uh, I mean, of course, some better, some worse and stuff. But if you watch people that are not handicapped in some way or another, when they walk around in the city, they always walk in time. I mean, nobody, I mean, they, they all, people walk around in time. That's uh, a very that's, good point. That's, yeah. that's how it is. And I sometimes, uh, when I'm stuck in traffic or I don't know what, I even uh, try to find out what's the speed they're walking in. And most people war walk in the ballpark of the heartbeat, which is some, somewhere around 60 beats per minute or if they're stressed and have to hurry, it's faster and stuff. But nobody, I mean, everybody walks in time, basically, I mean. So through miseducation in schools and whatever, I mean, all this uh, talking about timing makes <laughs> just to have bad time at the end and all these techniques and stuff. Uh, and of course, once you start to work on your technique, it's natural that your time somehow gets upside down for a while, at mm. least. So the worst thing is to practice fast, really, <laughs> you know, before you're really able to, to play the thing slow and nicely with the correct movements. Bad timing usually comes from, uh, from wrong movements. And so uh, that's, I think, the biggest mistake. To correct those slow movements and make them perfect, you have to practice slow. And of course, to use the metronome and stuff. But also, most people, they just put the metronome on the quarter note, which doesn't help at all. It's actually even worse because, especially in Western music and in Western Europe, I mean, we know where the quarter note is. And if you just put the quarter note, you never lose time. I mean, and, and you may, maybe practice with the metronome for years and you still don't know that it's not correct because you basically kind of are with the quarter note. But if you start to put the metronome on the middle triplet playing swing or at least on the last triplet or on two and four, if you... If you play straight stuff, if you put it on the off beats of the eighth note or even on the off beat of the 16 notes and stuff like that, or on the dotted's or, you know, then it's, you immediately realize what's going on. Either you're on the beat after one bar <laughs> or so, or, or it's, you just lose it. And so, and those things, when you start to do it, you have to do it very slow but it mm. forces you to really understand where the time is. And, and then it's, it's, it's a lot is about the wrong movements. If you don't do the right movements, your time is just never going to be good. So I believe that it's more a, a technique and timing have a lot to do. Uh, because if, if, if mm. you do the wrong movements, then there is no time. It's impossible. <laughs> 